Okay, so in this video, we're gonna do a fun DIY craft for Christmas. Um, have you ever seen those gnomes, those stuffed gnomes? Um, we're gonna make one of those today. Um, one thing I love about gnomes, um, they became one of my favorites a few years ago after my parents um, came home from living in Norway. And in Norway, they call these gnomes nieces. Um, and nieces are so cute. I'll show you a couple Norwegian nieces that my mom brought back to me. Um, but what if the fun story behind or the fun legend behind nieces or gnomes, um, at least in Norway, is that they um, create racket. They can create chaos in your home. Um, but the way to keep them calm and happy is to make homemade por porridge. So here's a couple of my Norwegian nieces that I have grown to love and excited to put out every Christmas. Some have faces like this one and some don't. Um, so I hope you enjoy this craft. Um, it's a very simple craft. Um, so again, on the next slide you'll see all the supplies that you'll need, um, but basically you need some fun holiday um, socks, um, rice to stuff the socks with, um, kind of that quilt um, or pillow filler. Um, you can use a mop or pieces of a mop like I'm going to today, or you can use yarn um, and then hot glue gun, and string and scissors. So here we go, let's make Anissa. Okay, so the first step is to grab your um, fun festive socks. It's always great to have two different ones. There we go, now you can see two different ones. So the first one, you have to decide which one's gonna be your bottom, which one you want for the hat. So I'm gonna do this one for the bottom. So I'm gonna put place the other one to the side and we're just gonna cut right, right below the heel. Okay, so this is the piece that we're gonna fill with rice. This part is always going to be helpful if you have a partner or a helper, but um, if you don't, um, a funnel also, also um, is helpful. You're just going to hold that sock and that funnel um, and, and start pouring that rice in. My side. So depending on the size sock that you have, I'm just gonna kind of form it so that it sits up right like that. I might do a little bit more. Just a tad. That might be a little bit too much. We'll see once I get it down. Yeah, just a little bit too much because you want a little bit extra sock because we're going to tie it off right there. Once you kind of have formed your, your, your body of your gnome. So again, if you have a partner or a helper, one person, once you have formed that body, one person can hold the tip like this while you tie it because I'm the only one. I'm going to actually use a rubber band to tie it off um, and then I'll use string to secure it just so that I don't make a huge mess. So. You can also, if you have like a cardboard piece, you can cut out a round 
cardboard piece and put it at the bottom here so that it kind of has a foundation. But we're gonna just tie a piece of string And just for me, because I'm I'm don't have a helper, I'm just going to tie it just below the rubber band, so I can in case that rubber band slides off at any point that it's secure. And then if you have a lot of extra string, just Cut it off. Okay. And if even if you want to cut off a little bit of extra of the sock, just so that it doesn't get too crowded. So now, if you have like a wood, a round wood ball, you can glue that um, to the body for the nose. Or what you can do is take a small rubber band, which I'm gonna do, because I don't have any round um, balls, and we're gonna make a nose. Now we're gonna take the um, either your yarn or your um, mop and we're going to just cut off one about six to eight to start out with and just cut them off You might need about um, six to 12. So we're gonna just start out with eight just to begin with. I'm just gonna cut off 12 just in case we need it. So depending on how big of a beard you want, the norm to be or another option is you can braid this and you can make a girl out of it by braiding your yarn or your rope but I'm gonna actually um, do a bearded one so this is where the hot glue gun comes so please grab help when it comes to hot glue right underneath that nose Gonna start in the middle and just right next to each other. So I might, I'm just kind of, okay, right next to each other and then just go on the other side. Stop there and just see if that's what. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually might do ten just so that there's. So you just want to and be careful. Put that aside. Now we're gonna work on the, the hat. So you're gonna grab your um, second sock that's gonna be used for the hat. And again, we're gonna first cut off the bottom half right underneath the heel. Okay. So you can do it two ways, depending on your sock. But I am going to actually um, just um, open up the sock and cut it open, but, and as I bring it up, I'm just gonna bring it to 
the corner right here. Okay, and then you just follow it around. And try to get into a point. Okay, so just like that. So it looks like an elf hat. Okay. But now we're gonna just now we're gonna re-glue it together. So again, just realign. And follow it and we're just kind of instead of sewing it we are gluing it we wanted to form that elf pointed hat just like that and go back to the beard it looks like we might need a couple more because See the gap right there? So, so you probably need 12 pieces of, of, um, of mop if you are using a mop or yarn. And I'm just going to glue those last two pieces down. I'm actually going to use that because I don't have a... I know this is the fun part, and this is where you can get help. We're going to actually take apart... So, take apart the mop if we, if we can. And this will create kind of a curly, wavy beard for our gnome. So separating each of the strands. Before I twist the rest, I'm gonna actually kind of cut off the length that I want. And this this can kind of be your own decision of how long you want the beer to go. But that looks like a good length for my guy. And then we'll unwrap. So here's my um, beard. I might trim it a little bit, but um, that's what you're gonna do. So now we're gonna go back to the hat. I have found that if you turn the hat inside out and then poke it through and leave just a little bit of that um, pipe cleaner or Chanel out, um, that will work too. 
And then and I'm actually going to take this filler and put a little bit of um, filler in the hat. just so it stands up a little bit. Okay. kind of stands up. Now I'm actually going to cut it off. It'll be easier for me if it's off. Okay, so now we're just going to cover that stub from the from the body. We're just going to cover it just to the nose and bring it down and we're going to hot glue it around just like that. Okay. So just a little bit at a time. If you need to take some of the batting out because it's too full, you can do that. I think I did pretty good at stuffing. I kind of like that on my sock, there's a little bit of green left from the heel. So I'm just going to take the glue gun and little by little, and watch the fingers. Hold it there, just around the nose. And then covering where I glued the beard. Again, please get a partner to help you so you don't burn yourself. And then if you have a pom-pom, so that wire, you can, you can kind of make it bend down. You can kind of shape it however you want if you did use that pipe cleaner. So I'm, you can even twist it a little bit more. But I'm gonna kind of bend it down like that, okay? And then if you have a pom-pom, you can glue a pom-pom right here. But I'm gonna take a jingle bell. going to take a jingle bell and I'm going to see if I can glue. I'm going to see if, if, you've, if you've left a long enough tell of the pipe cleaner you can, uh, and you're using a jingle bell, you can feed it through that eyelet right there. But mine's not, mine's not what long is enough. That? So I'm just going to I'm just gonna put some glue right here and quickly just kind of glue it right on top of that. Here are the finished gnomes, Christmas gnomes. You can actually make two gnomes using two pairs of socks. So I actually made a female gnome using the leftover pieces. I hope this video will help you make your own Christmas gnomes. Um, enjoy creating and doing this craft this holiday season.